Hey guys, Top Flames here. Just gonna, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Aether mod onto your Minecraft. Uh, for this tutorial, I will be using a Mac. Uh, so first, you want to go down here, download Mod Loader, Audio Mod, and Shock A Shaka P API, and you also need to download the newest version of the Aether mod. I already have them downloaded, so I'm going to go to that now. So then drag your downloads out to your desktop. Now in Finder, you want to go and click on your username, library, application support, and Minecraft. You'll want to have a new uh, Minecraft uh, dot jar for this, otherwise it probably will not work. Uh, then you want to click right click, open with, archive utility, and rename the Minecraft jar something else. Now, rename this folder that it created to Minecraft.jar, and just hit add if it asks you if you want to. Uh, double click on it. And then you should get a whole bunch of folders and stuff. I'm just going to arrange them by kind so it's easier. Okay, now you want to delete this folder. And now what you want to do is open up all these folders, all these zips that you just downloaded on, that are on your desktop. Wait for those to open. So first, you want to open up your mod loader folder folder that you just downloaded. Select all of them. Right click, copy, open up the Minecraft.jar again, the folder you just made, and then paste them in. And then apply to all and replace. <laughs> Now hit you minimize this again, and now you want to do the same for audio mod, except this time you just get the YO class, copy that, and paste, and then get the folder and paste that. Now you want to go into pulse code sound, codecs, and then same in the audio mod folder, pulse code, sound, codecs, right click, copy, right click, paste. Or you can just drag all these in. Either way works. Whoops. Now I'm going to minimize that again. So now you got the mod loader and audio mod installed. You can go and test to make sure it works. Open your Minecraft. Wait for it to load, because I have a slow computer. Uh, log in. And then you should pop up the Mojang screen, and that means that it's working. And X that off. Okay, now you want to install the API, or Shaka API, or whatever you want to call it. Um, Open up this bin, copy all of these, and paste them into Minecraft.jar. Again. Apply to all, replace. Now we're going to minimize this again, make sure that our Minecraft is still working just for, before this last one, so then we know that we haven't messed up. Log in. Okay, it's working. Now we're going to X that off. Now we're going to install the other. So first up, click on the jar file. And I'm going to arrange by kind. And you want to pull this armor out of the rest of all these classes. Then you want to highlight everything 
but the armor folder, copy, go into your Minecraft jar, jar again, paste. Now you want to go back, double click on armor, then go into minecraft.jar, click on armor, copy everything in the armor from the either mod folder, and then paste into your minecraft.jar armor folder. Now you want to go back to the minecraft.jar, and click on resources now. And now hit back, and then back again, and then if you loaded up Minecraft, like I did earlier, there should be a mods folder now. Otherwise, create one, and then inside that folder, sorry, not mods, uh, should be a, you go into resources, mod, and then you go and select all these, right click, copy, and then paste. Apply to all and replace. And that now it should be installed and I'll just run it to show you. Except I can't go into the either right now because I don't have any worlds set up. At the end of this video I'll just put me in the other I'll just go in and make a world for it quickly. Uh, create a new world. See, and it's installed because you can tell because this down here at the bottom is something that they put in with the other mod. And I do know that this works with too many items as well. I'm just going to change my settings here quickly so then you guys can actually see options. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's running fine. The other mod is installed, and if we go E here, see? As you can see, this is all changed since it's installed. And if you also go into your achievements, there should be some achievements for the other mod if I can find them. I think there is, anyways. Remember there being some. But yeah, anyways. Oh, here it is. Gotta click down here. Uh, and then that should also tell you that it's installed. So also paradise, so on. So that means it's installed. So at the end of this video, I'll put me in that a vi little video of me in the other. Right now, I'm like, I'm just gonna end it here. And thanks guys for watching. And hopefully this works for you. And if it's not working, leave a comment below, and I'll try and help you.